Hi, my name is Hagop Markozy and I'm from the United States. I've uh, had previous hair transplants. Unfortunately, they were not successful. Some of my own doing, I didn't follow the I put my oxygen on right before the procedure, so it didn't work too well. I was okay being bald five, 10 years, but I wanted to give it a chance. So I came to the best place that I thought I could. That's why I'm here. So thank you, Hagab, for trusting us all the way from the US. I must say you have been very kind and cooperative. And the good part is your expectations were quite uh, curtailed from the beginning. You had very realistic expectations. And what we did for you was a trial grafting. So we, do, uh, we did grafts from the chest, we did uh, from different, different areas, and we have demarcated all those areas. The grafts which are placed, uh, extracted from chest were placed separately. Then we uh, extracted the pubic hair. Those also we placed separately. Then we have tried thigh hair and the abdomen hair as well as the back hair. Now I agree, the extraction was challenging for sure. We encountered large transaction rates, high transaction rates in those areas. I did undergo a uh, body hair transplant procedure for other people that are, have been thinking about this as well and been considering it. I would say if you are so, I would get into contact with a doctor or a clinic that is very good and been doing this for a long time such as eugenics. The other problem is because the area is huge, the amount of anesthesia that we end up using is more. So that is why we had to split your procedures over two to three days. And you were kind enough to give some hair from the scalp also, which we have used in the hairline. Now we have to wait for a good long 12 months to see how it turns out. It's not just about looking at the studies and looking at the percentage yields that they're getting. Uh, because not any, any doctor is going to be able to get that. Only the best of the best. And someone who has been able to be doing these procedures for a long time and has heavy experience in body hair will be able to give you that chance. So the problem with body hair, the roots are very fragile and this rate of growth is very slow. So that is why the illusion of fullness is not created. And the other problem is the texture, which of course doesn't matter in your case because you are going to keep a buzz cut kind of look. So let us see how it turns up and I can see you have worked a lot in doing the research, put a lot of hard work in the research part and I must say, and you have also covered the previous scars from the previous sitting. So yes, it's an exclusively body hair transplant experience and we do these kind of cases very less. Yeah, I think um, when I made this decision, I, w I wanted to make it. So I want the risk and the benefit to be there and I wanted to be able to give it the best chance I had, which is why I decided to come here. I thought, you know, there's nothing I can lose. I'm not gonna be worse off for it. And that's what we can be able to say for anybody that wants to have this procedure done in the future, like, at least you know. Any surgery, everything's patient specific, so it's, it's, it's important that people give, but also give their own body the best chance that they have for it to see what they can come up with. So that's why I did it, and now I know, I will know in the future if I should do more. And that was like she said, it was a trial run. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you no so problem. much. No problem. Thank you Thank for you. having me. I appreciate it.